Hey everyone, this is Ross, and today I'm going to be moving the 10 Cardinal Tetras from this container into the 33 gallon. Uh, the reason why I'm not putting in any more Cory Catfish yet is because these guys have been digging up the Pogus Damon Hell Ferry and it's keep being floating to the surface. Uh, so I'm going to add the rest of the Cory Catfish in a couple of weeks time once this is rooted properly uh, because it hasn't got many roots at the minute so it's keep floating up. And as you can see, um, they're pretty much digging a lot, so yeah, I'll be adding the rest of the Cory Cats in a couple of weeks, and for now I'll just add the 10 Cardinal Tetras. Uh, so, you may have heard that Cardinal Tetras are quite hard to catch, uh, just because they're so fast, so now I'm going to show you a technique uh, that makes it relatively easy to catch them. Okay, so this is what I'm going to be using to catch the Tetras. It's just a 2 litre bottle. I cut the top off, I turn it inside out and it's made kind of a funnel so the idea is that it would sit in the container like this I would then scare the cardinals into this area they would swim in go through the end of the bottle and be trapped in here and because they're pretty stupid they can't figure out how to get back out so I'm gonna put this in that container and scare them into it with my net and apparently uh, this is a less stressful way to catch them than just going straight in with your net. Um, so I'm going to give this a try. It'll probably take about 10 or 15 minutes to catch all of them. Uh, it'll probably be quite tricky to do holding the camera. So I'll just show you once I've caught all the tetras. Okay, so I've spent about 25 minutes trying to catch them. Uh, I've only caught five. Um, and I really don't want to carry on trying to catch them because stressed cardinal tetras can actually get ick quite easily. Uh, so I've just caught them. I'm only going to be putting five in. Um, so I've got them in this little bag supported by this uh, container. And they're just in there. They've lost pretty much all the red coloration so that shows they're quite stressed. And now I'm going to float them in the 33 gallon. I'm thinking about turning the lights off as well, just to make them a bit less stressed. Okay, so the Cardinal Terras are floating in the tank now. Uh, you can see they're not too happy, they're trying to get out of the bag. Uh, but I'm going to leave them here for about half an hour to 40 minutes. I've taped the bag open at the top so there's no chance of it falling in the tank. Uh, if the bag was to fall in the tank right now, um, some of them might not survive. So I'm going to acclimate them for 30 to 40 minutes. Then I'm going to add some aquarium water into the bag, wait another 20 minutes, and then I'll net the fish out and put them in the tank. So now I'm just going to leave them alone and let them calm down for about half an hour. Okay, so they've been floating in the tank for about an hour, and... For the first 40 minutes, the temperature on the bag was adjusting to the temperature of the tank. And for the final 20 minutes, I added a glass of water from the main tank into the bag to equalise the pH. And now the fish are finally ready to add to the tank. So I'm just going to net them out and put them in the tank. I actually forgot about these fish. I went downstairs on the computer and I just completely forgot about them. But they're absolutely fine and I'm going to add them to the tank now. So I'll show you once I've done that. Okay, so they're in the tank now. Uh, you might notice that they're hiding in the plants over there in the crypts. And they're very nervous. They're staying close to the substrate. And that shows that they're quite scared. Uh, so just to make them feel a bit more comfortable in the new tank, I'm going to turn off all the lights because it's night time anyways. And hopefully in the morning they'll have regained all the red coloration and they'll feel a bit more comfortable in the new tank. So they seem okay. And that's it. So if you like this video then please leave a nice comment, please like the video and please subscribe. Thanks a lot for watching.